Hey magicians, welcome back to my channel. I'm um, sorry I haven't posted in so long, I've been super busy with school, but I'm home for a couple days, so I thought I'd try to just post something real quick. This is going to be a little different from what I usually do. Um, I guess you could call it kind of a makeover? I'm not sure. I was cleaning up my room and I found like a bunch of old toys from when I was younger. Um, and they're all kind of this medium size, of course, so it's not Brayer, it's like, um, you know, off brands, like the kind of thing that you'd get at the dollar store, and then uh, also these safari kind of medium sized rubber horses. So these are three of the horses that I found, and I'm gonna be making them over too, but not in this video. I'm gonna post about them in my blog. So if you wanna see that process, uh, I can put the link in the description. Um, what I'm doing today is actually this trailer. And I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but it's actually kind of super yellow. And it used to be white, which you can see because the sticker is still white. But I think I was keeping it in, in like a greenhouse or something because the sun got to it and it's really faded and kind of yellow and gross now. So I'm going to try to uh, repaint it to make it look a little bit nicer. And I'm wearing gloves because I'm going to be using spray paint for that. I think it'll stick better than brushing paint. But before I do that, I think the first thing I want to do is use some masking tape to block off the windows because I don't want to get paint inside. So I'm going to do that first. Okay, so I've gotten all the openings masked off from the inside so the paint can't get in there. There's just a couple windows, a little opening in the top. I taped this door shut from the inside because it kept opening. Um, these stay closed on their own, so I'm just going to um, leave them closed. And also, the last thing I want to do before I paint is I want to take off, take off the wheels because um, there's no sense getting them all full up with paint. I think it'll roll easier if I just put them back on at the end, so I'm going to do that as well. Awesome. So the wheels came off super easily. They just pull off of the axle and you can slide them in and out. Um, so I'm just going to glue them back on when I'm done. I'll leave them up here while I'm painting. And another thing I forgot to mention was that this trailer also came with this bright red truck, um, which I think is in a lot better shape. Like it didn't take as much sun damage. It was kind of, you know, dirty. So um, I think I'm just going to repaint parts of it, uh, but I'm not going to start doing that yet. So the first thing is to take this outside and spray it with paint. Let's go. All right, so I got the whole thing covered, and I'm gonna let it dry for a couple hours, and then we're gonna see how it looks. Mm. Okay, I'm back in the studio, and I think it turned out really well. Uh, the paint's not 100% dry yet, because I just got some on my hands, but I think it'll dry better indoors, because it's kind of humid today, so I brought it in anyway. Um, it went on really smooth. Uh, it's just a flat black color. There's no, like, there's not too much dripping, there's no patches showing, so I'm actually really happy with how the paint went on. Um, one of the doors came open while I was painting a little bit, so there is a little bit on the inside, if you can see. I'm going to try to get that off uh, with some acetone. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but I'm going to give it a shot because it's just on the inside. Um, but the first thing I'm going to do is take off the, the masking tape because I think it'll dry faster if the windows are open. Okay, so I took off all the masking tape, and I think it worked really well. There's not too much paint that got onto the inside. The worst that happened is this um, little bit of spray inside the door, and then there's a little bit of leaking inside the window, but that'll be easy to fix. Um, the next thing I wanna try to do is get this off with some acetone. So I have acetone nail polish remover right here. I'm a little worried that it'll dissolve the plastic since this stuff is really strong, but you'll never know if you don't try, so let's give it a shot and see what happens.
awesome. Okay, so the acetone actually worked like a charm. Um, it took off all the staining on the inside of the door and it even took off the drip under the window. So it worked even better than I'd hoped it would. Um, and it did not dissolve the plastic as I'd worried, but I do think it did soften the plastic just a little bit. So as a precaution, I'm going to wash off the extra acetone that dried on there with some hot soapy water just in case because I don't think it would be smart to just leave the plastic with dried acetone on it. I don't know how it would act after a while, so I'm going to go do that. Okay, so I'm back with a clean trailer and the paint's 100% dry now, which means that we can move on to the fun part, which is the details. Um, I kind of want to keep it simple though, so I'm not going to do too much. I think I'm just going to use some silver paint to highlight the details like the hardware and maybe these railings on the inside. And then I'm going to paint the floor inside, the kind of a light brown so it looks like wood. Um, probably going to paint the hubcap silver too and then use this electrical tape, this white electrical tape to add some striping on the top and sides. Um, but then I think that's basically it, so this isn't going to take too long. Um, the last thing I did was I took this outside and sprayed it with a clear acrylic sealer so the paint won't scratch off like on the corners and stuff, but um, other than that you saw everything on camera that I did. I'm really happy with how it turned out. It actually took me a while pushing back and forth the edges of the trim to get everything looking clean. Um, so I had uh, black enamel paint that I went back and fixed up with and then I sealed it at the end so you can't really tell. but. It did actually take a while to paint all those straight lines, but I think it was worth it. It looks a lot nicer now with all the detail accented. Um, I did add a, a little license plate. Um, and the tape was a really easy way to add super straight lines for the striping without having to paint it by hand, which would have been really hard. So I was glad that I had that lying around. Um, and the door's still open and closed. I also think the inside looks a lot nicer with that little extra color detail. It wasn't that hard to get the paintbrush in there, but um, it did take me a little while. Um, still, I think it was worth it, and I'm really happy with how this turned out. I think it's a lot better than it was, um, so hopefully it won't turn yellow again if I leave it out in the sun. And I'm really happy with how this turned out. At least it's not yellow anymore, right? Um, so the other thing is the truck. Um, like I said, I'm probably not going to do too much with this because it's actually in pretty good condition. I think the only thing I'm going to do is paint the hubcaps with the same silver paint that I used on the trailer and maybe also highlight some of the details like the door handles. Um, and I'm going to use the white tape again to add some striping on the roof and the hood just so it matches with the trailer a little nicer. But other than that, I think that's all I'm going to do. Oh yeah, also the... The hitch broke a couple years ago and I fixed it with hot glue, but I did kind of a messy job. So I'm probably going to take that off and try again with super glue and see if it looks nicer. Um, so yeah, let's get started.
All right, so that's it for the truck. Um, I really like how it turned out. I think the details really make such a huge difference. I especially like how you can actually see all the hardware now that it's silver. And of course I added a little license plate. But I think my favorite part is the rally stripes. Not just because they look cool on their own, but also because when you attach the trailer, now it actually looks like they go together. Because they were totally different before the truck and the trailer, but now they both have stripes on them, I think it looks really cool. So I'm glad that I decided to put the tape on both. Um, but that's actually it for this truck and trailer makeover. There is one more thing I want to show you though, which is these horses that I showed you at the beginning of the video. I actually finished repainting them like in the process while I was doing this because like when I was waiting for coats of paint to dry and stuff, I would just work on these. So I've actually finished all three um, and here they are. I really like them better now that they have a more realistic um, look to them. So. I'm actually going to post about the process of making these over on my blog. So if you want to see those photos and that process, you can head over there. I'll put the link in the description. Um, but for now, I think that's it. And I'll be heading back to school in a few days, so you might not see any more videos from me for a while, but I promise I'll get back to posting as soon as I can. But until then, I guess I'll just see you next time. Bye, magicians!